Okay, grade 11, let's look at this question from your homework. This is a limiting reagent question, so we can expect there to be a limiting reagent in here. To make things faster, I put the formulas on the top, and I want to let you know that it's very hard to type these fractions in on the computer, so we're not typing fractions in. We're going to use the divide sign for M divided by M instead of M over M. And I found the mass of nitric acid earlier to make this go faster. So let's look at the question. Study the following balanced chemical equation. Calcium carbonate plus two nitric acid goes to calcium nitrate plus carbon dioxide and water. Calculate the mass of calcium carbonate that will remain if 50 grams of calcium carbonate are placed in a solution containing 18,9 grams of nitric acid. Now, we are in luck here because it has said to you the mass of calcium carbonate that will remain. This tells you that the nitric acid is the limiting reagent. So the limiting reagent is going to control everything here. So we only need at this point to find the number of moles of the limiting reagent. So we will use this formula and we're going to find them here using this formula and this mass we have. So the number of moles of nitric acid, and I also can't make that three small, live with it. It's going to be 18,9 divided by 63. Let's get our calculator out. Please check my maths because you know I don't do well with the calculator. This tells me that there are 0,3 moles of nitric acid. So this is limiting. Now what we have to do is find out how much calcium carbonate is going to be linked with this nitric acid. So we have to use now the mole ratio. And the mole ratio for calcium carbonate to nitric acid is going to be, how do we find the mole ratio? We look at the coefficients from the balanced equation and the coefficient of calcium carbonate is one and the coefficient of nitric acid is two. So this is my mole ratio here. So I do not know what this is, this is going to be x, and this we do know because we just calculated, it is going to be 0, 0,3. And this is where you have to talk about ratios, okay? You have to find a way to solve this ratio problem, that's what's in my other slides, an example of how to solve this ratio problem. But for now, I'm just going to do it my way. So the, the way that's shown you in the slides is that you cross multiply, so 2x, equals 1 times 0, 0,3. Okay, let me show you what I'm saying here. 1 times 0 0.3 is equal to 2x. So then x will be 0, 0,3 divided by 2. So if we do that on our calculator, we get 0, 0,15. So x equals 0, 0,15. So this is the number of moles of calcium carbonate that can possibly be used up. And we started off with 50 grams of calcium carbonate and it asks you how many will be remaining. So now I have neglected to find the relative molecular mass of calcium carbonate and we're going to need it. Yes, although possibly there's a way to do it without it, but I would prefer to do it. So we need our periodic table because I don't know this out my head. 40 plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen is 16. So what will that equal? I think it's 100. Yes, it's 100. So the relative molecular mass of calcium carbonate is 100. So if one mole of calcium carbonate weighs 100, look over here, M equals NM. Yes, M equals NM. Always write the formula, except when you can't type it into the computer very easily. But this one we can. So M equals NM. So the mass of calcium carbonate is going to be 0, 0,15 
times 100, which is going to be equal to 15 grams. And we had 50 grams, so the mass remaining, because remember this is what the question asked, the mass remaining will be 50 grams minus 15 grams, which will be 35 grams. And that, I do believe, is your answer, because it asks you the mass of calcium carbonate. So you can see what I did here, first of all. I took what was given to me and I turned it into moles, so that's the first step. Then I used the mole ratio to find the moles of what I was looking for. And then I converted the moles into a mass over here. And then I answered the question. So you always start by finding the moles from what you are given. And then you use the mole ratio, doing whatever ratio calculations that are mathematically correct, because there's more than one way to do this. And you will end up with the moles, and then you convert them backwards. And then you make sure that you've answered the question and given your answer. 35 grams of calcium carbonate. Quite easily done.